then comes the stage of allocation of tracts in civil litigation there are three kinds of tracts in civil cases small claims tract fast tract and multi tract once the court becomes aware that a claim is going to be defended that there has no not been settlement then it will look at allocating the claim to one of the three tracks either small track fast track or multi track the court will make a provisional allocation and the parties will be requested to complete and file with the court a direction questionnaire and is some and in some cases a cost budget which will give further information about the claim for example how many witnesses the parties think that they need to prove the facts in issue that the parties believe that expert evidence may also be required for which permission of the court must be sought how long the parties feel the proceedings will last all of this parties shall tell the court and to which track they think that the claim should be finally allocated the court shall take all the parties in confidence when it comes to the allocation of tracks with this information the claim will be allocated to appropriate track which will determine how the case will be managed from then on and what directions the parties will need to follow so for small claim track for cases up to 10000 pounds for cases up to 10000 pounds a uh, court shall allocate the small track and for the cases from 10000 pounds to 25000 pounds court shall allocate the first track and it will last more than a day and for the cases over 25000 pounds the court shall allocate the multi track CPR 26.6 sets out the scope of each track we will consider in the future lectures the case management in some details and you will be able to appreciate which claims will be allocated to which track and the differences in the management of the cases in each track all of the cases allocated to different tracks shall be managed in a different manner while the small claims track is designed for the simplest of cases the small track allocation or for the cases that of simplest nature and the parties will normally only need to exchange the documents on which they rely you will learn that in the fast and multi track court will make a different order for disclosure of documents the court could ask for more documents and of different kind of documents in the fast track and multi track cases you may find that you need to advise your client that they are required to disclose documents which are very harmful to their cases unless perhaps you are able to advise that such documents fall within the class of documents which are privileged from the production the court will actively manage the cases from an early stage in terms of production and evidence and will always bear in mind the cost involved in the proceedings and rather it is just and proportionate that such cost should be incurred so during the course of the trial court shall always keep in mind that uh, in what kind of track a case falls and it shall uh, make a procedure and continue the procedure in such manner as the track of the case is